Блин, да нас же просто вынесут. Top teams in Eastern Europe, there is no doubt about that. Even if they the series, even if they wouldn't go to the major, this lineup uh, in the previous tour, they proved that they can beat every. Well, bases can still the guitar is still in the name. It's a bass guitar, so. Um, but before we get into it, guys, we are going to be taking a quick word from our sponsors over at EGB. So check it out, and then we'll be back with the third and final right after this. You really should prepare for battle. Target practice paying off. Target practice paying off. What? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We're going to be finding out here who is going to be breaking the uh, three-win barrier between these two teams as Hydra. Looking to start off here at this ward comes out from Warwick every single time and I wonder if Bet Boom taking no I think they did get the D ward off in the second game but this time PK not there in time to catch it out but they might just have an inkling that this ward is here um but between the two teams you know that we shouldn't see any shenanigans coming into the ruins just yet Leffington though there is that sentry down GPK not planting a ward no ward to plant well, thank you. so yep. Doesn't, uh, he doesn't have it, doesn't matter. He's just walking there, battle. trying to maybe get a reaction. If you get some weird movement, uh, then maybe <laughs> from it you can, uh, you can kind of understand what? where the, where the enemy ward is, but overall nothing is, uh, nothing is going to be happening there. Mm -hmm. Um, looking at, I mean, I was talking about the Doom in the draft, so looking at Nightfall again, it looks like it's going to be the Mana Boots, so uh, potentially the Greaves to come out. Hand of Midas for the Doom as well, and it's those one of those heroes that uh, I think I talked about uh, Otomo as we take a look begins. at the odds again, Hydra. Or so I it is told. pretty close. There's going to be some damage coming through now into Toronto, Tokyo. Yo, uh, shenanigans are oh, wow. And yeah, Toronto, Tokyo, did it go down? Trauma will be used. Was that second oh, illuminate? Yeah. Ooh, I think this is worse in some parts because you know it means you have to commit some regen here as the toronto tokyo what? you you, know, you didn't go down you didn't give the gold over to anyone but you do need to commit some regen to get yourself back into a health position in the lane um and not a problem he got three runes so that's yeah. pretty much counters it out you might lose some gold on regen but you've given gold to all of your teammates to to be able to have it during the uh, laning stage so he'll be fine yeah uh the yeah the egb odds looking close do you agree with him under three for hydra and bat boom still the favorites in the Okay. Uh, Bad Boom are the favorites because they are on paper a better team. Yeah. Um, but what? I think uh, I think EGB is kind of starting to uh, to lean towards uh, towards Hydra. Dota yeah. Plus says it says fifty one percent. So yeah, that is uh, that is the case. Okay, okay, and yeah, the Doom build. So going towards the Hanamaru's here, talking to Otomo about this, where. He says that the Doom is going to farm no matter what. Thanks to the Devourer, you know, thanks to going for things like the Hand of Midas. But it's your job to kind of uh, make sure that he doesn't, once he's got that farm, you know, he doesn't get himself in a position where he can take advantage of it and apply it to Kami. So Hydra, how do we play around this? I mean, the Doom again going for the Hand of Midas, how do we try and play around this and make it that Nightfall doesn't have a major impact once he's got a few items and ready to go before Hydra, you know, have that, that anti-major ready to, to get involved? You still need to slow him down. The way that you uh, don't allow him to utilize that farm is by not allowing him to have that farm super early on. Dota yeah. is a lot about timings. If a Doom has like 15,000 net worth very early on in the game, you're going to be in trouble. But if he gets it later on, you're obviously going to have some items to deal with. Yeah, I like that the Kami just getting in anytime he can, getting the, the man away from Nightfall. And Nightfall gonna be taking some tower shots, but in the middle lane, GPK, he's trying not to harass here. The Telkinese just come through here. Nightfall, he's got but down one more right click. They're gonna try and save it. And Kami will pick it up. But I suppose that's one way to deal with the Doom. If you can't farm, if he's dead, if you can't have an impact. Uh, this is perfect for uh, Hydra because this means there's gonna be an early ring for Kami. That's the worst here you wanna give the uh, first blood to. So, uh, 
That's actually a very uncharacteristic mistake coming off from the Doom. Yeah. Uh, back in the mid lane as well, we can see that Warwick as well as GPK trying to trade Harass. You know, GPK, if he tries to get close, I mean, Warwick is already going to be away a decent distance and if the, the spirit siphons do start to come out for gpk okay he's having to use them on creeps to warwick he's going to be a decent distance and not going to be affected by those and he could even throw out the illuminate blast like this the counter the regen coming out from this death prophet and gpk not having a great time in this lane in terms of you know staying away from that yeah but he's still farming well and that's the most yeah. important thing the advantage that Warwick is going to get in this lane is not going to be uh, like uh, forcing uh, GPK to buy region or something. It's going to be from him stacking the camp next to the, to the lane and, and getting some extra farm. Yeah, we'll continue to keep an eye on Warwick. Meanwhile, the top lane, there is the cookie now as well. It's a pure, pure. He's out of position, but can he get the kill to Lefferton? Lefferton trying to get himself away from this one. The ice shards will melt, and Lefferton can he get himself far? a couple more right clicks from Toronto, Tokyo. It's fine. Is he? he is. Yeah, no, there's no shards to follow up. There's no snowball, nothing like that, because he went for that tag team at level two. So, fine might be a bit of a strong word, but he will be able to use some Radiant's regen and uh, not die, slain. which is impressive on its own for Lefito. No little ones that was very nicely done there by Cloud just running into Pure, making sure that he's Dyer's not attacking him, and Pure didn't want to stay there for long because they, they were still a very far away from Lefito. So yeah. in some way he was baiting in Pure to go there, and what? if, uh, if let's say Lefito would die and Pure would follow, Cloud would be attack. the happiest guy in the world. What? I have no reason to lie <laughs> and, about such things. Yeah, no, the cookie team to get right on top of him, you know, Cloud again going for. Does he go for that point into the Dragon Tail? He does, so that will be available now. Ooh, yeah, Warwick, no, a G being pushed back behind the tier one by GPK. GPK coming in with the Spirit oh, yeah. Siphon will miss with the Crypt Swarm, so it won't be the death of the Keeper of the Light. And GPK looking to chase down, not a lot of mana <laughs> left though. The way that you play against the uh, Keeper of the Light, let's say when he's positioned for his sports, is that you're always on top of him, so he cannot to charge up the illuminate on your carry without your carry knowing and you know it seems like the death prophet is taking a page out of that support book like you play against this hero by getting into his face or just knowing where he is and not allowing him to get close to the creeps and gpk yes. he crushed this lane yeah and what? how is he looking in terms of the last yeah he's starting to get some denies now as well so it's gonna be harder for warwick even though the illuminate blast i mean at level two it's not not enough to clean up this creep wave, so it is a little bit harder here for Warwick. And like you say, he's looking to sca stack this camp, but for now, he's not got anything off. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Happy throwing some harass. The Infernal Blade does come through, but that's going to be the telekinesis. Happy can he get himself away from this one. Has no regen, no panic buttons, no furry fires, nothing like that. So he will go down at nightfall, picks up the kill. Now, nightfall will be out of mana. And uh, Kami, it looks like he, he's missed out on too much farm. He just wants to go back to the creeps in the lane. Yeah, he knows without the Rubik, he can't really get the kill. What? Doom is also out of mana, so he uh, cannot really do any significant damage to him. It's time to, uh, to continue attacking the creeps. Rubik isn't really the greatest killing, but yeah, I think they should be happy with the first blood and now just uh, farm as much as they can. Yeah, and like I say, it was an early ring of health coming out here for the anti-mage. So he's going to be looking pretty good with those. Uh, I think it's the full power just come through now as well. No, it's not. It's still, he's still got the gloves on his uh, quick buy. So that won't be out just yet. But still, he's having a decent time here, this anti-mage. Well, no reason not to be happy. I think Hydra, the one they need to be concerned with this war, like, is not going to be low. Three. Heroes group it up the cookie. It doesn't even even attempt it to try and get the save. And Warwick will go down. Yeah, the the tag team coming through the Toronto Tokyo with that snowball was able attack. to close the gap, and there was nothing that Warwick could try and do. You know, no uh, no just no pulls just yet, and he wasn't able to defend himself away. In fact, Taffy might be in a little bit of trouble now as well. The fade bolt come through. GPK does he want to try and chase? And slowed down here by the enchant as well as that war pine red of the telekinesis. He's not able to get the cliff off onto GPK and save GPK group up for the kill. So that's two easy kills there for Bat Boom in the space of about a minute. In game number one and two, it really wasn't the mid laners that were deciding the uh, 
the flow of the game, but GPK definitely deciding it here in, in game three, right? I thought this matchup between the mid laners is going to be much more important, and here in game three, it's it's going to be because GPK he absolutely dismantled his opponent in the mid lane. And look at the level that because I've seen this for Strange a very long say, time. Radiant oh, middle tower um, is yeah, he's about attack. two levels behind. In fact, it's going to be left and Does he go down? Who's Trying to get himself back towards that tier two. Doesn't matter. The slowdown coming through Radiant's from pretty much everybody here on the platform. And again, the, the repeating what they did in the second game where attack. they play so active with the supports grouping up with the mid laner Radiant's just making life hard for whoever they're going on in Warwick yeah he's not Fire been able to recover level 3 here into the Illuminate but without any stacks it's not going to be enough for him to catch up oh you can see Warwick is uh, speaking to his teammates and I think it's like I have no idea what to do he crushed me <laughs> he annihilated me but you told us that the Keeper of the Light was a good pick I thought it was a good pick and GPK you know he just mm -hmm. showed him how how to play against it this is Why, thank you. oh boy this is a disaster this is your main damage hero this is your guy that is going to be doing the most things and the thing is once the mid lane tower falls much easier to invade the jungle much easier to yeah. hunt down the anti-mage much easier to do everything and hydra they need a lot of the map because both the keeper and the anti-mage they want to use their mobility to go through the parts of the map they they themselves control and after the mid lane tower falls so early that's not going to be possible no um the Dragon Knight at least getting towards, I think it's the, the full Meteor Hammer being flown out now. So if he can, maybe Cloud can try and put some pressure, but pure playing the hero with the, uh, you know, the, the take aim coming out, that bonus rage, he's uh, bonus rage, bonus aim. Um, it's just, it, you play so far away that Cloud, unless he gets that Blink Dagger, even with the Meteor Hammer, he's not going to be able to close that gap. And what can you do here on the side of Hydra to try and get some of this map control back? Whenever you I'm feel sad, you just eat the cookie, right? So that, that's what you need here. You get a cookie from the sapphire and you get close. The problem is that grandma is, uh, well, her time is coming fairly soon, it seems like. Yeah, well, having to eat all the cookies herself here, Lefitan, Um just trying to get himself up onto the high ground for safety. And yeah, it, it's the push potential might be coming out from Warwick, but GPK with the points into the Crypt Swarm, you know, the four points into the Spirit Cycle now as well. The illusions from Lefitan coming in, grouping it up with Warwick. And I think the big issue for this is, yeah, once you push this lane in, how do you even try and take these towers? In a stunning development. Dyer's top tower has fallen. I mean, fallen. you. You will get on top of it. You will dive there. You know, one side they uh, they will just posture aggressively on the side of Bed Boom and Hydra. Well, same thing. And if you can't, well, you just use the Meteor Hammer. So that's True. that's what's gonna help from the DK. Yeah, and Cloud now has taken that tier one tower. So if he wants to move into the mid lane, he'll help Warwick out. Warwick can't push that lane in with the Illuminate. Cloud comes through. Like you say, with that Meteor Hammer, being able to push it in. The bottom lane, though, save Radiant's and Nightfall. Looking now to attack. put some pressure onto AM, and AM's already moved himself away into the jungle. Knows that he can't keep himself there with the amount of pressure, the amount of um, mobility Radiant's the bedroom wants to, to put on this map. You know, just moving themselves around, and looking to try and exploit these weak points. Can he? Just has to move himself into the jungle. But I think he's going to be spotted underneath the ward. So, let's give the rotation through. The snowball comes through. Did you get the kill to Warwick once again? There's Ice Shards and Jeep. PK cleans up once again, and Let's Beat, and he might go down. Where's that Crypt Swarm? Not even needed. GPK gets it. The Exorcism coming through. To his tier one tower should go down. Ah, that's what you do if you're Bed Boom. You dive, and you know there was like there's only one hero on Bed Boom that can catch the keeper, and he's catching him quite nicely. Yeah, and. Again, it just means they're taking this map. The, the wards on the map here all being focused Has from Boom inside this radiant part of the jungle. And they're just looking to, if they can get a, a dive onto a, a hero Strange like that, the, you know, it puts the fear into the Kami. Even if you don't get the kill, speaking about the kill, Nightfall can get himself away. The cooking does come through here now as well. Nightfall going to be taking a lot of damage. The mana void is not a bit of mana just yet. He will eventually throw it out. He does get the kill. And now he's down onto save. Save. Level 5, so no points into the untouchable. The nature of the tenants healing himself back up. Scatterblast's gonna slow him down. Kami, can he get the kill? It's a lot of damage here, but it looks like save. He's just wasting so much time in this anti mage. An anti mage, a lefty turn. He's gonna go down once again. And save will be able to pull out the back here. So yeah, Kami, he was having his time wasted there, and save. Great bait mate to pull them through and get that kill there onto left, and they might even be able to go onto the Rubik here. 
Tafi, Kinesis taking damage, the impetus. GPK cleans it up once again. I really have to praise our observer there. Uh, one last time, I think, is uh, is his name. and Or uh, the last time, yeah, it's the last time. And uh, he caught every single thing that happened there on the map. So on the bottom lane, we saw an engagement. On the top lane, we saw an engagement. On the board, is definitely Bad Boom coming in as the victors. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, top lane Hydra what? did get a kill onto the task without losing anyone. So that that's definitely going to be nice. Yeah, no, that's it's going to be a Radiant's great one here. Is being um, subjected to extreme but violence. again, the map control coming up from Bad Boom. Hydra looking to recover from this, but a, um, bottom tower has he's fallen. not going to be... He's two items away from this Battle Fury, you know. What? He's being, you know, in the mid lane. He's trying to find that farm on Contest. He's got his two supports to help him out now as well. But it does just mean that there is a lane that nobody can do anything in on the side of Hydra. And it's... It's Warwick that's going to be suffering here, that, you know, he's not finding it. He's got himself the boots of travel Radiant's as well as the Earn of Shadows. But does he attack. have the same impact if he groups has up with the support to try and find these kills around the map? I mean, it has to. You have to sacrifice someone when the laning stage doesn't go as well as it did. And I think that Hydra have made the right decision. You need the blink on the Dragonite to be able to do anything. So just allow Cloud to uh, farm as much as he can. And Warwick, well, for now you suffer. And uh, you're going to suffer a little bit Terrifying. more. Yeah, he's straight dead. GPK. What is GPK scoring on? 5 0 on 3. Having a really good time in this game. And the Dragon Knight had to go for the TP away here. Pure. There was going to be a rotation in potentially from the two supports. So, uh, Cloud, he just pulls the ripcord and just says, you know what? I'm just going to get out. At least Warwick did something before he died. He denied the illusion room. Considering <laughs> the GPK doesn't have a bottle, he doesn't want to go for that on the Death Prophet ever. It's not the biggest of deals, but it's a small play that helps. Snowball comes in, and again, the Wildwing Ripper, though, with the little hurricane dragging closer, happy to that snowball, wasn't able to get out, even though we had that TP going. Beautiful, they don't get that doesn't happen. So yeah. that was the only way that you were uh, going to get there in time, and, and they do it. So bad boom. this is the clean game. This is the clean gameplay that we're used from them. Of course, whenever they would be winning, they would crush it completely. Radiant's but the problem is when they start losing. Attack. So let's see if Hydra can maybe uh, rattle it up a, a little bit in this game. Or is this uh, is this finally going to be a stomp what everyone is expecting from Bed Boom to do to most of the teams? Yeah, and you can see that again you've got two heroes trying to protect this anti major the four heroes grouped up in the smokes but uh bad boom don't seem to be worried now because pure he's still farming you know they've got these sentries down as well protecting him he's got his space and time in terms of net worth he's sitting 1100 above the anti major and the anti major again still yet to get towards that battle fury about 200 gold away 250 gold away from completing so his farm should pick up after that but at the minute pure sitting zero zero and zero he's having the perfect pve game here for him yeah, uh, it doesn't get much better than that. Ideally, maybe you would have wanted to uh, apply a little bit more pressure on the DK in the lane, maybe kill him once or twice, but you were up against the Dragonite and the Snapfire. Your ability to uh, to get a kill is, you know, limited. So I think yeah. he's, he's more than happy just to be able to, uh, to farm as much as he wants. Sniper is a pretty timing-based hero, so you want to be uh, keeping up and farm all, all the time. Yeah, uh, I keep the TP from stopping to the mid lane now, but if the armor comes out, I think he's going to kill on TPK, GPK gets low. I think he will be taken down there, Warwick's going to be the one to claim that one. They do get the kill into the Dragon Knight, but they lose to the Bat Boom, so a good reply from Hydra. Even if it's not, you know, the, the fight that they, they wipe everybody, taking down GPK being, what was he, like 5-0 and 2? 5-1 and 4, or 5-0 and 4 before that, so it's a decent amount of gold to pick up, and Warwick's going to be the one that benefits from that most. I mean, that Meteor Hammer onto the two of them, that is really huge, and, you know, yeah. Warwick, they... They did sacrifice him, but this hero still does massive amounts of damage. You put in the Solar Bind, you, uh put in the uh, urn and then once the illuminates start flying out these heroes they get bursted down and death prophet this is what the hero hates being bursted down and so much damage on the hydra side it is starting out here yeah, to, to come online this draft is gonna be the, the cliff teasy coming out from left and trying to save his life but he will still go down there toronto tokyo able to get the kill got it Radiant's that bottom is the, tower uh, is under attack. That is the case. But it, it's strategic, right? He's 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 finding the information for the anti and now the anti has that battle fury. You know, AM, he's gonna be comfortable finding his farm. Are you uh 
are having some issues with the uh, with the feed there because uh, it's kind of uh, laggy for me. No, it's looking all right for me. Maybe just give it a quick refresh. Uh, okay, so uh, I'll be right back, Rob. Sorry for leaving you for a second. No worries. And yeah, we'll see Nightfall now as well. He's got that hand of Midas going towards his BKB. Only going to be about 100 gold away here, Nightfall, before he can pick that one up. Going in towards the blink afterwards. And you can see the score here, 1-2-2 one, two, and two for Nightfall. So he's looking all right. Again, he, he took some punishment in the lane, but not really being contested after the fact. He's got his first point into the Doom. Level 11, I wonder, because we've seen some builds on the Dooms where they only pick up that one point into the ultimate. And I wonder if he goes for that second point right off the bat, or whether he wants to maybe get a... Um, a couple more points into the final blade. You'll start to stack up there. the damage that comes out from that. And it is looks attack. like, I mean, we're going to find out at level 12, but it looks like the mid lane here, Happy, Warwick, and Lefty tend to just up, maybe potentially look for a smoke gank. Radiance I mean, top tower is under attack. He hasn't used a single doom just yeah, yet, so I doubt going. he's gonna be. Uh, he's getting getting Sorry, more points in that one before he maxes out the infernal blade. But Hydra are making a move. They want this part of the map attack. back, and they have to get this part of the map My back. Sprites are with us. Yeah, there is gonna be save though. He's already popped those nature's attendance as the ward does go down. See the cloud and try to bait something on to the dragon knight, but do they actually want to respond to this? Looks like Hydra just backed themselves away and Radiant's won't be getting anything from the smoke the, the three heroes in the smoke and, and the bait here from the clouds has popped that dragon form has that blink dagger available to him as well he won't get anything from this this particular smoke yeah. it seems that radiance top tower yeah it's, has it's not looking good for hydra they're too afraid to go in and this time around they are protecting the anti-mage but bed boom they know their timing that they're gonna be able to deal with the anti-mage even in the later <laughs> game once you get like an axe on the doom or something along those lines they're always gonna be able to take him down so Bad boom with a good laning stage, methodically going for uh, from objective to objective. Now into the Roche pit. Dyer's bottom tower. If they continue playing attack. this well, it's it's gonna be a uh, an impossible game for Hydra. Hydra aren't even trying to uh, to make anything happen. Oh, the multi kisses though. They are raining down on the pit as we may take a look. Save comes through again. The nature's attempts have already been popped. So they will be going Strange on cooldown. And it might still be the contest here. Attack. You've got the, again, the Illuminate Blast coming through. So it looks like now, for now, Bet Boom back themselves away. But that will be the multi kisses down. We're going to get the chase on to Lefton now. Well, Lefton is looking for the safe space to TP in the trees. Might just be able to get himself out. Oh, what a guy. What a guy. Bottom tower he just saved the Roche attack. for the time being with just weird positioning again. Just <laughs> making sure that he's creating that space. And Sorry, this is giving the space to the, uh, the anti-mage. Considering good position right now with Hydra, you can't get close. You need to be able to, uh, to make crazy plays like that. Happy, on the other hand, he doesn't have the same talent that Lefferton does. Uh, let's not speak too soon here. As the TPs come in, there's going to be the, the piggy pole. He's trying to run himself away. He got locked down and he got killed off. Rod of Atos now out for the Death Prophet. Uh, well, it's still not the uh, the same thing. Leviton died on the enemy side of the map, so it's a much mm -hmm. better death. And uh, speaking about that's Warwick. No way that he just gets killed by the save. Alarmist, okay, that's that's not gonna happen. Dyer's that would have been. Uh, is under attack. I think that would have been nailing the coffin for Warwick in this game because he would feel like he's completely useless for his team. Yeah, um, we take a look at the hero here. One, three, and two. You know, he's not really got any big items to speak of just yet. Just the, the spirit vessel and the boots of travel. So no big impact items in these fights. And it will be, once again, pure. He is going to be able to go back into that rush pit with his teammates. They clean up this Aegis. But while this... I mean, the delay bought time. I bought a lot of time for the animation. He's got himself the Ashen now as well. Will be able to get himself over into that full Manta style after this camp. It's not going to be too far away at all. And this could be a, a big power spike here for Kami. And just be able to push out the lanes without having to actually show in the lanes with these illusions. This time around, you're not playing against two intelligence scores, only one. Yeah. So he's not going to be as strong. And I really like Bad Boom. They're preparing for the bottom lane earlier this time around. Last time, they made the mistake of not going to the bottom lane early enough. And then they were forced to uh, go there. And now there is the catch. Nightfall was ready. 
Yep, to jump in, the Centaur Stomp, the Infernal Blade. Anti-Mage has to run himself away from this one, but it looks like he might take down again. If he doesn't, I mean, the Blink would have been off cooldown. Anyway, the Impetus, a save. He secures that. I feel like the map. all good support should do. As Toronto Tokyo gets to kill on Warwick, I think he's going to get to kill on Happy. At the moment, the Kisses starts to rain down. Toronto Tokyo will go down here, but it looks like they're going to be able to get the kill to Happy. Dragon Tail, no, you're in trouble. Will we'll they be able to pop this Aegis? Don't forget it. It's Aegis. No! They've got the take game active now as well, so the headshot is back short. Oh, the cloud's gonna go down. Yeah, they can't even she got him. Sure, he takes down to the dragon. Dragon's courier has been slain. Ooh, he got him. He knew that that one silence, last hit please. is gonna do it, and then Pure is turning around. He's starting to. He was trying what? to uh, get the lifesteal on something, but there was just no units to do that. But still, perfect gameplay coming out from Bed Boom because they do kill five heroes around the map. On two, uh, two different sides of it, we had a uh, team fight in the Triangle of Hydra, and we had a pickoff on the bottom lane. That was a three versus four at the top part of the map, and they lose the eggs and pure, but they take everyone else in return. Yeah, and big fight for for Bedroom, like you say, what? keeping this momentum. Up. They've got themselves a 10k net worth lead here now as well, and the odds. They extend Hydra, it's, you know, 6.6 .6 to 1 here, and Bat Boom looking so comfortable, so, yeah, even EGB having the belief. Uh, as the as the started off with, and Bat Boom to close this game out. Kami wants to go for a, uh, for a basher. This is not a basher game. Last oh. game was this one, it is not, because you're not going to be finding a sniper what? split pushing, you're not going to be finding a doom split pushing like you were finding some of the heroes in the previous game, right? So something like an Aghanim Scepter, something that's going to allow you to have impact in fights is going to be much more valuable, so I would really like him to change what? his item choice. And we'll see if he's going to commit to that. Do you think that this this is signaling that the anti-mage isn't going to commit? Like we saw in the first game where he was looking for the split pushes, you know, he was looking to uh, just try and get himself around the map and and put the pressure onto the objective. Do you think with the Basha being the, the second big item that he's signaling he wants to get involved in these fights? What? Yes, uh, Bastion itself, he can't do it, right? That, that's why I don't yeah. like it. Abyssal Blade is fine. You're going to be able to wait for Pure and just blow him up, or maybe for GPK. The problem is that you need a lot Dyer's of time to get the full Abyssal attack. Blade. And <laughs> up until that point, the gold deed of your enemies might be too much to handle, right? That is why I would much rather have like an axe, and then if, if a fight breaks down, you can definitely make something attack. happen. Yeah, um, yeah, okay. And there is going to be a smoke speaker around making something happen. There is going to be the smoke coming through here from Bad Boom. And we'll see. Lapis into further this one forward. He gets revealed. The Rodovatos into the cookie. Did he get a chase down? He's even got the bull whip. They're making that a little bit faster here. And it looks like, again, early warning system, though, in the river. Cloud going to be taking a lot of punishment. The jump in. Do we want to go for the Doom? It is available. The TP is out. And Cloud, does he get himself out? No. The Doom will be used here. So they will be able to commit this to get the kill onto the Dragon Knight. He buys a lot of time for the rest of his team. Two heroes Dyer's dead on the side of Hydra. Under attack. It's a nine second BKB, it's still not ideal. Right, you're no. buying some time. But uh, this is the exact same way that Hydra played Dota versus Bad Boom in game number one. But Bad Boom in this game, they have a different lineup and they know what you're doing, right? So that immediately does put them at a significant advantage compared to uh, game number Radiant's one. And that's why we're seeing the is game being attack. just slightly harder for, for no Hydra than it was at the start of this series. Four heroes closing in, and Kami has to get himself away. He, you saw the net just be getting smaller and smaller there for the anti mage. He did. He blinks himself into the trees, TPs himself away. And I do believe that is going to be career wise. It's going to be a Lincoln's to come out first. So he, he sees the threat of the doom. He recognizes it. it is a real threat, and he doesn't want to be caught out like that. I like this slightly better. If you want to go Fire for fights, is Lincoln's is, is better. It's going to allow you to split push it. It's going to allow you to get that abyssal blade quicker. Let, let's put it yeah. that way. And if, uh, uh, if a fight does break out, you might be able to assist your teammates in some way. Yeah, and it does mean that, you know, he's got that warning system that if he does get a spell cast on him, you know, quick fingers there onto the counter spell. So that Lincoln's going to be a really nice opening. It's what's not going to be a really nice thing for Hagen Dow the whole world. So he's brought stuff into the Doom. And he should be able to pick up another kill onto the Keeper of Light. He goes down, he's 1, 5, and 3 here on this Keeper. And just really not having a great game at all. Yeah, he is just... 
uh, looking really, really sad. The thing Radiant's is, with the keeper is on your side of the map, attack. he has so many little gaps to run away has from. But when he is playing defensively, you can always get a pinpoint from where he's spamming down those illuminates. Radiant's and considering that he's a core, it's more than worth it to just go for a dive. That's exactly what Bed Boom have been doing for the entirety of the I game and just like bullying him over and over again. Yeah, uh, uh, again, at least while this is happening, you know, it takes a lot of the aggression off of Takami. Yo, save will rotate in now with Nightfall. Did he get the kill here? There's no tomb available, so he's going to try and pop the Mantis now, but the silence comes up right after it now as well. The Lincoln will be delivered, though. The sound is still going to be enough to get the kill, and Kami, that's not the reveal of the Lincolns that he wanted. That is the... Um, just muscle memory for the anti-mage when people jump you to go Manta Blink. This yeah. time it kills him, right? And that delayed uh, projectile from the silence of the Death Prophet <laughs> is actually what killed him because it's going slow, he pops the Manta and then it it connects on him. It's just very unfortunate for oh, Kami, but it is what it is. <laughs> well, that's happening on the bottom lane. Bet's boom, they pick up another kill onto Pure. What? Takes down Happy, and you have 24 on a 14k net worth lead here for Bedroom. Yeah. I'm not going to say it's impossible because we've already seen it in game number one where Hydra, you know, they were net worth down, they were kills down, and they did come back and win the game. But at the minute, they're jumping now as well. Chief PK with the BKB, they get the jump onto that. It's going to be another kill onto, onto Warwick. And yeah, it's just strange to say. Wait, this Keeper of Light is just so sad. Look at his, his net worth now as well. He's keeping pace with only the Dragonite, and the Dragonite's not really having that great game either. Not really, after he got the Blink Dagger, he uh, stopped farming, right? He didn't yeah. get a BKB from that point onward, but he had the first two items really early in the game. And also, in look fact, at the wards from, from Bad Boom. I was going to say, yeah, in fact, they might be able to get the jump onto the Pure. They do get the reveal now as well. Pure can get himself away from this one. Kami, he's a little fast. Nice yeah, he's going to be taking some damage from Mortimer Kisses, rain down, but Pure is going to be able to dodge him off the back lines now. Pops the TKP. It looks like this might be the retreat coming out from Hydra Cloud. He might be the second with Chill Hand. No, they're going to jump in a little bit further now as well. He's going to get the kill off the Lucas. He's going to be popped now as well, but Doom still comes through. He gets that kill. He's going to be the wall. punch off the Cloud, and Cloud Wheel goes down. The Happy goes down. Kami goes down. Three heroes dead. And bad boom. The, the, the bait coming through here from Pure, and it was a bait, you know, like Hyde Piper just leading the uh, the, 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 tower the, is the rats attack. into the doom, and they get the kill onto the three of them. The great plays from Bedroom, not to panic on the sniper there as well, just knowing if he just continues running away, the rest of the team will back him up. He knew when the uh, BK pop, B pop what? should come out, and look at him, he's not gonna destroy Warwick. Oh, Warwick, 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 Warwick. I think he spent more time dead than alive in this game, to be honest. If you... You mean dead inside, like not being able to get to creeps and, you know... That, oh, that we're with Dota yes. players. We're all dead inside. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, though, uh, you know, some of us deader than Who's the, the others. It seems like in this game, Hydra are... Uh, are pretty dead, you know, so that's uh, mm -hmm. that's not looking good. In that earlier engagement, the Doom even got returned to a Nightfall and just didn't change the thing. If the Sniper is allowed to dish in with his physical damage onto the AM, the AM dies Radiant's easily. middle tower is under And now Lefferton once again, he's gonna be caught out and you can see on his face, you know, he's not even faced. He's just like business as usual. Yeah, just another uh, tidings, I'm afraid. day doing what, I, uh, what I do best. The thing is, now the map is getting smaller and he cannot go to the other side of the map. If he's dying on his side of the river, that is extremely bad. And that is what has been happening now for, for the uh, past couple of times. If he dies next to the enemy base, forces the TPs, forces the spell, whatever, that's okay, right? You're creating yeah. some space here. You're just giving away gold in the free rush. Yeah, and yeah, free Roach coming out here from the side of Bad Boom. They are going to be able to get it uncontested. And uh, Hydra, you can see the anti mate is still he, he's frantically trying to find this farm between, um, well, between being picked off, it seems like. And he is going to be able to find some space, but with this, this Roach out coming out now as well, it's just so much harder. You know, Bad Boom, they have this confidence, they have the pick up potential. Speaking of pick up, once again, Mark's going to go down. And he's just in no escape mechanism here built into the keeper light it isn't like we were talking about in the draft of the storms right that even if he gets caught out he can zip zap himself with the ball line and as soon as he's jumped upon he has it no way even the sports stuff is locked down too long attack. to be able to use it 
Uh, the escape mechanism from the keeper comes from the movement speed. And yeah. when you're this far behind, when there's so many blink daggers and uh, ways to, to catch Who's you with heroes that don't necessarily have good catch in trouble. Kami, he's being hunted again. Yep, the Bone Blade comes Scott through the Blink. Break, break the Lincoln Sphere. And now they're going to be able to go even further. Uh, he's just straight up dead. He said that there's nothing to go. And I like the, the, the Doom. He swaps out the Centaur Stomp. You know, he sees the Lincoln Sphere, so he swaps out the Centaur Stomp for the Mana Burn. Yeah, and you go for the Aghanim Shard, right? Radiant's so then your Infernal Blade is stunning for three seconds long what? enough, I even if no he pops the counter spell, that things. you can, uh, that you can do him. Yeah. And Kami, he's just been absolutely punished in this game. In fact, what is the anti mage in terms of two, four, and zero in terms of kills and deaths? And those four kills are going to have a massive impact. Speaking about having a massive impact, they get a look down onto Warwick now as well. The chase out for the four star for the proven. Changing the targets onto Leffy Turn and Leffy Turn. He's not going to be able to get himself out of this. Nine deaths already here in the 30 minutes for Leffy Turn. Yeah, it's uh, middle tower is under attack. Uh, this game is a disaster for Hydra. Bed boom, <laughs> they this is how they looked in the previous season, right? When they were unchallenged, yeah. when they had lineups that are easy to execute, they would just stomp on everybody. I mean, Hydra, they're uh, just getting a little feeling of that, yeah, and. Well, half the, the, they can't even leave the base here, really, because the closing attack. is coming through from Bad Boom. Anytime they show on the map, you know, they, they, they close in there and they get the kills. And yeah, this is the dominant performance Radiant's we can use to see from Bad Boom. And maybe, you know, this no is where they maybe turn it around halfway through the season, fallen. coming towards the end. Someone must be very pleased yeah, with well, themselves. I mean, uh, to be honest, Bad Boom himself, only uh, lost the Spirit and Hellraisers, and those now. look like the top two teams here, so everybody yeah. else. They still should win, even when they're dropping a game, even when they're not looking their best, losing to that. It would be, uh... It. it would be unexpected, though. They did look shaky in game number one. Game number two also wasn't all that clean, but in game three, they are, uh... They're, they're looking really solid. Yeah, they didn't even really give up the early lane aggression that, you know, Hydra like to take in the finals. Uh, very early kills here once again. It's just every time they leave the base, get your left he turns gonna go down. He hits us that 10 kill, uh, excuse me, the 10 death um, mark. And yeah, every time they, they leave the base, Bad Boom are just taking full advantage of this. So 32 minutes in, 33k gold lead, more than 1k per minute. That's pretty much uh, territory when you're not coming back for it. When Bad Boom can do what they're doing right now, and then it's just die without without any consequences. Yeah, when the dive room is tier 4, you know, 30 minutes when the tier 3 is still standing. Cookie comes through, GPK with the BKB, and he's away. He is absolutely fine. Yeah, they understand they don't have to uh, hurry at all here, because I mean, you're starting to doubt yourself. This is a uh, final smoke from Hydra. If they lose the fight now, they they will call GG. Yeah, proper bunch and some dance time here now as well. They get the jump and they're gonna be able to get the stun onto Toronto to Tokyo. Did they get to kill Telkinesis into the Meteor Hammer Snowball comes out of the Meteor Hammer won't connect and now Cloud with all the snowball students gonna come through with the wall, but Toronto Tokyo is gonna to listen to this and Kami has to blink himself away. Cloud pops up BKB, but Kami can think get himself out of this work once again. Trying to use that blinding light to push himself away, but it will cost him the dragon knight. It's gonna cost him the Ruby. The buyback comes out now as well. Kami has to go for that blink out and Leffy Turn just completely avoids the fight but they still get the catch, you still get the kill BB, they get the GG I just hope that Hydra are not feeling too, uh, too under the weather right now because yeah. especially Warwick we talked about his inconsistency and it was definitely felt in this game I mean he did get crushed by GPK 